Let's, um, before we get too far into that, I want to backtrack. And I think both of us, cause a lot of people don't know who we are. Yeah. And, um, let's, let's just tell me about like your, the start, like how you got started into the whole hunting, just hunting, not necessarily, not the hunting industry, but just hunting in general. Yeah. I grew up, you know, I grew up in a little farming town in, uh, central California and I, my dad was an avid hunter. Our whole family was, I mean, it was, you know, always every year, several trips, deer hunting and quail hunting and rabbit hunting and pheasant hunting. And, and I can recall, you know, I don't have a picture. I wish I did, but I do remember one distinct picture of my dad would come home with whatever he killed. And I wanted to take a picture of it. And I remember <laughs> having one of those, uh, pajamas on with the feet yeah <laughs> me holding the pheasant up and I, someday i'll find that picture again but i just have always you know always had that love for the outdoors more so i have two brothers and uh two sisters and more so than my brothers uh, um i definitely got the bug more so than my dad you know none of them ever bow hunted and we were i've brought up gun hunting shotgun hunting duck hunt, a lot of duck hunting the area i grew up was really well known for it's duck hunting and with that being said, I always said uh, the first chance I get, even though it was, you know, even though it was California, it was a small town and it butted up close to some hills. There's a lot of fishing. We did a lot of every year is a couple of years or a couple of weeks of camping as a family. Um, but I always said I wanted to go somewhere else. And, you know, I just wanted to go a place where I can hunt elk and have other opportunities. Um, we had pig hunting there, which I still go back almost every year to California to hunt pigs and turkeys and still have some good friends over there. And Right. So, and, and I know you grew up there too, right? I, yeah, I did. Before we get into that, I want to tell you a funny story. Daryl Daryl was taking um, was working in Alaska at the time, and he called me and asked me if I would go to California with him and film a pig hunt. And I was like, heck, yeah, that would be awesome. So um, we did. <laughs> he actually paid for my flight out there. And, uh, anyway, as, um, I guess we got to the point where Daryl was getting ready to kill this pig and he's sneaking on this pig oh. and I'm standing back filming, uh, you know, I'm back quite a ways, but I'm filming him and he shoots this pig and it takes off. He shoots and kills a pig. And I realized I didn't have the camera <laughs> rolling. <laughs> so I went all the way to California to film that hunt, uh, which is by the way on the YouTube channel. But uh, fortunately, though, fortunately, Daryl had uh, his um, GoPro on his uh, stabilizer. Yeah, on the stabilizer. First time there. I ever tried it. I never I thought, oh, what the heck? Right. I'll do it and I'll turn it on. And I did. And that was, I think, probably. Well, I had it on a couple times through that hunt. But for the most part, you were filming. That was your job. Right. Yeah. One thing. <laughs> I had one job. <laughs> and then, and yeah, when we got back at night, you're like, I don't know if I got that. on. Yeah. Like, but you know what? It all worked out. And we had just enough footage from the GoPro right? to, even though it was a little fish-eyed and right. going out there ways, it still was enough. You could see what happened. And we picked right up the next morning and exactly. it turned out good. That it turned a, out pretty good. Pretty actually. emotional I, I, hunt, that whole thing with, right. with uh, using my, my, I had a son that passed away in 2009. And so I got the bow, the last bow he had, uh, which is a bow that I had given to him. And so I took that bow on there and and uh, and shot that pig, which was an older bow, as right. bows go. Right. And anyway, I killed that pig with that. So that was pretty cool. That yeah, that was cool. The deal was cool. So. So anyway, yeah. So I a little background on myself. I I grew up in uh, Northern California. It's something you you hate to admit when you live in Idaho because you get a lot of crap for it. But how many years you been here? Yeah, so I, I got here and uh, we moved here. My wife and I had just got married in 1993 in February, and then we moved here in June of 93. And I moved here in 83, so I've been yeah, here. Yeah, so we've been here a long time. I feel like we're kind of grandfathered in, Yeah. right? <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, anyway, hunting-wise, I, I grew up, I cut my teeth hunting um, black-tailed deer, in uh, the Marble Mountains and the Trinity Alps of Northern California. I really grew up, the town I grew up in, the name of it is Wairika, California. It's not Eureka, California. People get those confused all the time. I think population at that time was about 3,500 people or so. And we were about 20 miles from the Oregon border. So really, we were in the mountains. 
it's not the typical uh, California that you you think of when you when you and that's what people think a lot of times you lived in the city and exactly and yeah was, yeah not the case at all and it was more rural than a lot of the spots here in Idaho in fact but anyway it doesn't matter you have that stigma I think but anyway so yeah half the so, people that live well I mean a good portion of people live here from out of state somewhere not necessarily just you know California but right so I I don't be offended by you know we, we've had a lot of growth here in California the last or in Idaho and from people all over and and fortunately I, I feel like most people that are moving here is to get away from certain aspects of other states that Idaho does conservative right. like Idaho being conservative like it is for the most part it's nice that most people have the, they're kind of like-minded exactly so it's easy to like we are you know so. right yeah i think a lot of people that do move here are the same have the same values that we have Hope, hopefully that's the case for most of them yeah. uh <laughs> make sure it is for you if you decide to move to idaho <laughs> <laughs> so but anyway 